Tax not included. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. It's a complete catastrophe. Hey, well, went to hell in a handbasket. This is outrageous. Chill out, ma'am. A 93.3 KZ. In the 90s, Jeff, you were a big fan of female lead, lead sing, lead sing, lead singers what? in lead, rock groups. Lead singers? Led, led the band, the female lead singers. You, you were, you were a fan of bands that were all rock females. Yeah, I think Was I... it Bikini Kill, the group that you uh, went and saw? No. Uh, who was the group you went and saw in Ellensburg when Ernie spilled a beer in somebody's purse? Oh, this is very inside. Oh, I'm just asking the name it's, of the it's, band. It's about to get even more inside right now. It's called Micro Mini. Okay. So Micro Mini actually made this list and Bikini Kill and as well as Hole and Garbage, uh, the, the Cardigans, if you remember. What about them. Hammerbox? Hammerbox uh, make the list? Hammerbox. Best female led, led band of all time. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I knew about his where I want to be when the sunlight finds me. Yeah. Garbage and Hole. I've, I've heard of them. I can't believe no doubt. that Micro Mini made this list that you speak of and Hammerbox did not. The Breeders? I'm sure Hammerbox is on this list somewhere. I just don't see them right now. What in front is this list? Will you share this list with the populace, please? I need to, I need to pick over this list before you start talking this is about ju- it. Just Google it, all right? Uh, <laughs> female lead singers of the 90s. Okay. Or groups. Uh, Mariah Carey apparently was working on an alternate, alternate project. Apparently, uh, while she was recording her album Dream or Daydream, which was her big one back in the nineties, she worked with a chick band uh, called Chick, or a band called Chick. They were all females. C H I C, and they threw her on lead vocals. Take a listen. All right, Carrie. That's not Mariah Carey. That's Mariah Carey. Now, Clarissa Dane is all Clarissa Dane Davidson. Why why, why do we need three names? Apparently, it's also singing background or backup, or they're saying they blended the vocals together. So, uh, Mariah Carey might have had something in the 90s if she would have done something. I think she did all right for herself. Yeah, she did. That is very interesting. That that is the uh, <laughs> it sounded, sounded it sounds just like any other sounded, female. Lady. It sounded good. It sounded yeah, fine. It doesn't sound bad at all, right? She just sit there, just sit around. She's like, yeah, I'll jump on your track with you. Whatever. I don't know who uh, Jennifer Lopez is, but I'll go ahead and sit on your, sit on your track. <laughs> sounds pretty good. Not too shabby. I'm completely different than what she obviously yes. did on her podcast. What side. she made, what she made a lot of money on. Does that? Did you have more respect for Mariah Carey after hearing that? Because no. I think I do. I think it shows that there's some versatility there. Mm-hmm. Versatility's kind of been her life, though. <laughs> I mean, she's been all over the all over the board with everything in her life. I mean, it's versatility. Who's your favorite uh, lead vocalist? Female lead vocalist from the '90s. It would be the chick from. Uh, Hammer Sky? What'd you, what'd you call that? No, that's, Hammer a, box? that's a winery. Terry Ocre? <laughs> Hammer Box? Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> Does that mean something? <laughs> Does that mean something that we that we can't really talk about? Hammer Box? Yeah, Terry Ocre. I, 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 I think it's Acre or Ocre or whatever her last name is. She's great. God, she's good. She's also the lead singer for a band called Goodness. And was she attractive? Were you attracted to her? Uh, no. To her body, to her face. I don't think so. No. Carry on, Ocri. I, I didn't. I didn't have to. Is it carry on, Ocri? Just carry. Or just carry Ocri? Yeah. Ooh, no, I'm starting. Acre. To see. Is that her? She well, she's like, older now. She looks like I mean, one of the Heart Sisters. Yeah, the she's, big one. She's like ten years older than us. What's the big one's what, name? Why am what, I drawing a blank here? What do you look like when you're 55? I mean, Ann woman, Wilson? And you've been in a lot of grunge bands. Is Ann the bigger of the two? Uh, yes. Queen? Yeah. Heart, yeah. But man, Hammerbox, man, that was a band. Oh, You goodness, loved it, huh? Goodness was a good band, too. Chick could have been a band, too. I can hear that. It's totally Mariah Carey. Sounds like you know what she sounds like. It's Courtney Love. She a little bit. So much like Courtney Love. 
Well, garbage was big back then, so I, I would imagine if well, you didn't have a way to kind of create your own sound, you would just try to mimic something you've heard. It wasn't it wasn't garbage. That was the name of Courtney Love's band. Oh, Hole. Sorry, oh. Hole. It's all garbage to me. Do you have a <laughs> band that's upset because you're using their song to sell their merchandise, uh, uh, somebody else, a company's ber- merchandise, and the company's like, "Hey, we're just big fans, of you guys. Here, take some shirts. Can we cool." I don't think it's going to work out that way. And I don't think it's the Doobie Brothers per se. It's probably, you know, a lot of people that oh, have yeah. the rights to their music. So it's probably don't, they don't even have full control of what they do. Yeah. Probably they probably had to yeah, sign probably, away. I would have think that the, the Doobie Brothers are like, okay, let's just leave well enough alone on this one. See it as a compliment and move on our merry way. But then the record label and the management and everyone's like, no, we need a piece of our action. Can we just play the songs, man? Or Doobie Brothers? Um, hashtag good sense of humor. The Denver Broncos, Tampa Bay. Did, I don't know if you saw any of this uh, game. They actually were focusing no. on the stands because uh, they had the uh, cardboard cutouts of the uh, uh, all the characters from South Park sitting in the stands. <laughs> Is they're also from Colorado. Oh, this game was played in Denver? I thought it was played in Tampa. Yeah. Uh, the score would have suggested that it was paid in Tampa. <laughs> no, it was in Denver. Denver's a dumpster fire this year. Yeah, it is. I, I actually that, it was, that was a very bad choice on my part to pick. It wasn't going to uh, be a good Broncos was, to beat the Bucks. Oh, oh, you picked the Broncos to beat the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That's a bold move, my friend. Yeah, it was a bad decision. It was a bad move. But anyways, um, you know, and it, it's like, uh, and then you're on Fox, right? Because I'm watching the uh, the Hawks are on Fox. And you see all this family guy. Fox on Fox. Fox on Fox. Hey. <laughs> Joe Buck. Hashtag. Joe Buck, we want the rights. We want we want some compensation if you use that. But- this is the third time <laughs> <laughs> the Hawks have been on Fox. America's I did Game there? of the Week. See what I did there, Troy? Oh, yeah. Sure. That Troy was annoying. I, I find him uh, to be okay, annoying. There should be a new rule. He did, Ex-Cowboy he, players, I understand that you, uh, Jerry Jones has strategically placed them in the booth wherever he possibly can, <laughs> but ex-Cowboy players cannot do ex cannot do Cowboy games. Because yeah. it was painfully obvious at the end of that one that Troy was pulling for his, oh, uh, for yeah. the star. Uh, it's just, he just, he talks so much. It's, and a lot of it's just nonsense. But anyways, uh, back to the, uh, so then I was thinking about Family Guy in South Park. I thought this would be a good poll question because it's simple and easy. Are you Family Guy or South Park? And don't put both up. Can I put neither? <laughs> no, you can't put that either. <laughs> family Guy or South Park? Where do you fall? I think I'm more of a Family Guy, but I don't know. South Park is, uh, anyways. But two big animated shows that are very popular, and I feel like we just saw a lot of it advertised or pushed through uh, the weekend, probably because of what Denver did and because what uh, well, well because Fox on Fox. Fox on Fox. Fox on Fox. Fox on Fox. Um, hashtag train wreck that I called. Remember, I don't know. It was about, and it was just a passing. Hashtag uh, tooting your own horn. Yeah. Hashtag, hashtag victory lap. Do you want a cheers? Hashtag? At, hashtag at others expense. Yeah, I'll give you a cheers on this uh, one. Because I called up. this one. I called this one. Max er- Eric? Eric? He, I don't know uh, who that is. He he proposed to Demi Lovato, and I was I was saying, hey man, did you like after not knowing her for that long? I said, do you know like what you're getting into on that one? You know, I mean that's that's unsta- instability at its finest, right there. Get this, he learned about her split from him while he was on the set of his new movie, <laughs> and the cast and crew came up to him. They're like, uh, hey, have you seen this? And it was on a tabloid on the internet. And he's like, no, I have not seen this. This is honest God is, God is honest truth of how I found out about the ending of our engagement and have people from my film who saw the whole thing go down had to help me get back into character to continue my job for filming that day. What was it that he saw? Just a tweet or something? Or was yeah, there actually photos the way, of her? Uh, she broke off the uh, engagement. That's baller move right there. Don't even go to the text message or the email and just release it in the press. That just is, give it to TMZ. That is new. <laughs> that is that is un, since we're in 2020, unchartered territory. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh gosh. Hashtag Costco does it again. 
You know, I always pictured you as a White Claw guy or one of these uh, seltzer. Nope. What do they call these things? They call them. Um, some some flavors are all right. Black mm, black cherry and black raspberry. Malt right. beverages. The raspberry and the black cherry are okay. Yeah, see, I knew you were into these. Costco now is doing is in the game. They got Kirkland, Kirkland yeah. Signature Seltzers. Yes. You get 5% alcohol, which I know all you're about is the buzz. Uh, mango, grapefruit, black cherry, and lime flavors. Now, I would only say hashtag warning. Remember, we tried the uh, Kirkland Light beer? I thought it was fine. That was not good. I thought it was fine. That was not good, no. I, mean, the, I, was, I was saddened that they discontinued that because the price was right on that. Yeah, and you uh, could tell it was even more watered down than any other light beer No, out there. that's just your mind. You need flavor. You don't know that. And it was trying to yeah, be all Coors flavor, Light, and it, you could tell it was not Coors All that light. flavor you get in Coors Light and Miller Light? Well, it was probably big with the Bud Light drinkers, but the problem is it looked like a Coors Light can, and they're so turned off. The one I... Uh, by, by, uh, by a silver can, if a blue can drinker, then you probably wouldn't even try it. Bud Light is making their seltzers, right? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, everybody's doing this. It's It's, you know... But everybody's into this kind of stuff. It's a it's Mike's Hard Lemonade, isn't it? What was the one when we were in college that everybody drank? It was lemon something. It was Mike's Hard Lemonade? Yeah, that's right. Bartles and James before that. That was a wine cooler. But they are advertising one of the Bud Light ones. Oh God, you got to enter your date of birth. Go ahead. While you do that, you know, if I was to go back and pick either like the um, yeah, the Bartles and James, Zima. Are, Zima or or whatever this new crap is, the the white claws and things like that, the Trulies of the world. I think I would still stick with the uh, with the Bartles and James. The uh, what was the one I liked? It was the orange flavored one. Probably orange. Yeah, it was. Yeah, but they, they nectarine. No, it wasn't. Uh, what's another name peach? for an orange? Was it peach? They made a peach one. It was a phenomenal. Oh, Boone's Farm. I'm talking about Boone's Farm. Oh. Boone's Farm had an orange flavor. Oh, it's the best. I also did a strawberry lemonade one. That Why like drink that. bones when you can drink Mad Dog? When you're drinking beer um, all day in the summertime, you pass around a bottle of Mad Boone's Dog? Farm. Mad Dog? No, Boone's Farm. So, the goal isn't to pass out. This is what Scott. This is what's piqued my interest because all these seltzers that you speak of, they all have five percent alcohol volume. Then I saw one advertised on our fantasy football platform, which is ran by the NFL Network, which Bud Light we know is such a huge sponsor of the NFL. And there's one called the Bud Light Platinum Seltzer. The Platinum Seltzer ups the alcohol content by 3%. Oh, wow, get, 8%. You're getting, you're getting an eater in there. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> Fuzzy Navel is what I was thinking of, by the way. Thank you for the text, Timmy. So uh, I, if, you're, if you're drinking, and it says it's made for the night. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> like, it's made for the night when you really want to get drunk. <laughs> you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, I was wondering if you guys could talk about something interesting for a second. Uh, no. How about that Ron Caps yesterday taking the taking the trophy oh, at Gainesville? I, I, I didn't even know. I, I didn't even know that Over, coronavirus. Didn't even know they're they're racing, huh? Yeah, they're racing. They, he took the summer nationals at Indy. Oh wow! Congratulations to so Ron Caps. That's two, two for him. Right on. Well, thanks for the thanks for bringing that up. Yeah, he's he 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 got he won something earlier in the year, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, in the summer. What? what okay, summer nationals. There you go. Thank. What's your name? Bruce. Bruce. Thank you, Bruce. Yeah. What See, the hell, dude? I thought you were friends with a guy. I am not. Uh, but uh, there's somebody else that knows about Ron Caps besides me. Look at that. Well, you apparently I'm not know about one. it because you were just tipped off that the guy won the championship. Well, they've canceled so many of these races. I haven't really been paying attention. But, so is it full, uh, I know is the it, one in Seattle got canceled that was supposed to be in August. And is it full participation or is this like an abridged season type thing? Well, I think that uh, will there be an asterisk next to the championship yeah, in, the, in the record books for Ron Caps? You know, I don't know. I was I was just asking. I was talking to you about that over the weekend with the Seahawks. I mean, they seem to be favored as a team that is going to go to the playoffs and maybe do really well. And if you win during the COVID era, will there be an asterisk next to your name? I don't think so. I think we'll be full so- Super Bowl. It's in Tampa. It's going to be outside. Um, it's. Uh, I think. I think we'll be full capacity by Super Bowl. But anyways, um, yeah. So awesome. I, I. I don't know what's going on with the NHRA. I guess you know. I'm sure all the racers are there. They're all doing their thing. It just they've had to cancel some of the races, not because of uh, maybe the NHRA, but the venue itself had to cancel because maybe it was That's in my Washington. Question for you with NHRA, where they wouldn't let it happen. Um, with NHRA, do they have to cap the? Uh, 
amount of people that go into the stadium? Or is it just like, hey, how would I know that? Well, what I'm saying is, I mean. How would I know that answer? Typically, I don't even know that he raced. Typically, do they have to cap the, uh, I mean, is there ever a sellout in NHRA? No, boy, kidding. Wrong button. (laughs) Did you just throw the cap in there because of wrong caps? And you were trying to throw that pun in there? No, no, no. No, I was talking about the uh, capacity. Not the, not the Ron Caps acidity. Oh, okay. I thought you were being clever. No, but I'm just saying, do they have to cap the stadium I don't know. at all? I'm Ever. Sure. I'm sure, depending where you're at, depending on what the rules are, mm. you might have to. Yeah. Uh, Boston. Because I mean, I'm pretty sure they're operating heads. at 25% I know anyways. what you're trying to say, that nobody goes. Even before the coronavirus. <laughs> Pumpkin spice macaroni and cheese. Does that sound good? 100% of people voting said no. Really? Um, it's a real thing. Kraft is doing it. We were talking about it earlier. And uh, if you want, if you missed that conversation, catch in our podcast. Just search Jeff and Jeremy in the morning on your pod, uh, podcast player. Or you can also find it on the KZZ Facebook page. My wife bought some butternut squash macaroni and cheese from um, Trader Joe's and I... Butternut squash would be all right because I was disgusted by the, oh, the prospects. This is the not did the, you try it? the right meld of of flavors. Um, no, I did not. Uh, her and my son uh, had it, and it was frozen, um, so it was like you know something that you know it just you just heat up. Um, and um, he did not like it. She said it was good, but I think she felt like she had to say it was good because uh, she bought it. You know, she like, didn't want to be embarrassed. We'll find out if it's good indeed. If there's more that graces our freezer, if you see it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what happened to the pumpkin? To the I'm, I'm sorry, to the butternut squash mac and cheese. I thought you said it was good. Yeah, it yeah. just sounds delicious. Butternut squash. No, mac and it doesn't. No, not at all. No, it doesn't. Not at all. I was trying to like squash. It's always figure a good out name. a way that it was. They make a ravioli that's got a butternut squash in it. That's okay if you just have it with oil. You just put a little. So I got here late. This is frozen stuff. Yeah. Well, the ravioli is not, but the uh, oh. the, the frozen. We were talking the about the poll question. Was, yeah. The poll question is uh, pumpkin spice mac and cheese. Uh, Kraft is doing this because the pumpkin spice thing. Sounds it's, pretty gross. Uh, it, it, it's it's putting a sweet with a, a sour, in my opinion. It's, I, it, I just don't like to mix really those. Weird. Two. I was telling Jeff earlier. It was like one time I got eggs Benedict, and then instead of. Uh, you know, paprika. Uh, they put uh, cinnamon over my uh, hollandaise sauce. Was yeah. Really see bad. again. You, yeah. That was really. That was an accident. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I had to send it back there. Apologize. Like, yeah, that's not supposed to be that you, way. You sure? It wasn't that's good. what it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, let's see if this guy likes my my idea. Yeah. There you go. Back here at the diner, the special sauce. You know, my diner ideas. I guess. First day on the job. Let's give this. A- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, Yolo. <laughs> be worse. Yeah. Be worse for his last day on the job. <laughs> Was, uh, not Have you ever so tried good. a seltzer or uh, one of these, uh, like White Claw, Truly's, Bud Light seltzer? Um, like boy, they seem to be everywhere, but uh, not probably not since uh, Zima. Does that count as a seltzer? No. <laughs> Zima was actually good. They had little bubbles to Zima it. Zima had more flavor than the, any of these seltzers. That's the problem. But they're, like, they're malted beverages. Isn't that what they're kind of called? I don't know that the seltzers are completely. I, well, I found I found with the Zimas that they didn't have to be cold. It wasn't bad if it was is like room temperature, yeah. in my opinion. But yeah, I don't know. I drink a lot of like seltzer water, but I haven't haven't tried the hard stuff. See, but what hard, do you guys think? Have you both? Or I've not. No, I mean, yeah. I, you have never had it. No, the Why? bubbles. 
I you ever been curious to you? enough to try it? Not really. No. When I gave it the butternut just, squash treatment, just, <laughs> is, is it like the bubbles, the, the soda water, where there's just a hint? You know, yeah, that, no. Like if they, you drove by yes. a lemon within a mile, they you, basically you taste took, it. They, yeah, exactly. They yeah. basically took Lacroix and they said, "Okay, if we can, how can we add alcohol into Lacroix?" And that's what it tastes like. That's why it's not. I don't understand the popularity of it because. Uh, it's just a little bit of it, and it's weird because it's a little bit in that little bit, like if the lemon, like if you if you get a lemon one or mm-hmm. if you get a raspberry There's one, really hardly any flavor. That's the flavor that tastes like it's got the alcohol in it, okay. surrounded by a bunch of club soda. And now, what what what's is the content you were talking like five percent? Is it that kind of thing? Yeah. Okay. 5%, so except right. for the Bud Light, so you might be drinking for flavor. The Bud Light Platinum version of it's eight percent. Bud Light Platinum. Yeah. Well, it's Platinum. Made, huh? It's made for the night. <laughs> It's made Platinum. for it's made for those refreshing evenings filled with endless possibilities. Yeah, I guess like so. your face on the yes, floor. We already got a silver bullet. Let's go platinum. I don't know. Just mango carbonated drinks don't sound good to me. I've had a mango margarita with inf- spicy infused well, why jalapeno do you think that tequila, is? and that was good. Not good enough. It needs to have more flavor than a seltzer would. I don't like give sweet. You. I don't like sweet things. These things aren't that sweet. That that they're not that sweet. Yeah. You might like them. Usually, they're sweet, not that sweet. Sweet and alcohol means it's headache. Just, it's just got that. It's just got a, a, a flavor, a notion of black cherry or raspberry <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, it's a very, it's a very subtle hint. It's kind of like drinking club soda. If you like club soda with a little bit of alcohol, you probably like it. Well, if it's only five percent, because you guys were talking the other day about beers and wines that are just. I mean, you spill them on the table and you see bubbles. You know, it's like the paint's coming off. That's what I like. Yeah. Because if I'm going to put any poison in my body, I want to make sure that I. Well, get that's right. Five percent are people going to go for that? You know. Yeah. I mean, well, you can now buy it at Costco. You know. Save save a little on Kirkland. It's, it's just a little more than water itself. Seltzer water, hard seltzer. I love how they don't even try to get fancy with the name. Just Kirkland seltzer water, hard <laughs> seltzer. Now, don't knock the Kirkland brand, Jeremy. You know, it's very near and dear to us. I like uh, I like the coffee they make. Pacific Bold is my favorite. Kirkland, specifically? Yeah. Well, I know you, you've been wearing Kirkland pants for years. I right? don't own anything Kirkland. I've never no. bought a piece of clothing oh. that says Kirkland on it. All right. They, they sell other brands at Costco besides Kirkland. Mm. Lucky, Columbia. Yeah, but nobody sees... Gary. The, nobody Gary's sees what big. Kind of, nobody sees what kind of pants you're wearing. Do you know what kind of pants I'm wearing today? I don't even know. I don't even know what kind of pants I'm wearing. Yeah, I think because I just are, got mine. I know they're Wranglers. Oh, okay. so <laughs> all mine are the Lucky Jeans from Costco. It's a screaming deal. Twenty nine bucks as long as they fit. But then you got to oh. take them to the. Um, well, alt- I have to take everything to the, the person oh. to get my little short ass legs. Hemmed up well, I bought those cheap, cheap like pants, and they feel like they're on backwards. I mean, they just don't fit. You bought Lucky's jeans there? No, no, oh, no. I'm just good. saying. Usually, it's like you see a ten dollar pair of jeans or something. Like, ah. Give that a shot. I know so that I is the problem. Is you, there's no dressing room, so you have to kind of just yeah. take it home and then bring it back, which I never do. See, my body must be more perfect than your guys' because well, I yeah, have I'm no sure. problem. Is any, kind of, any pair of jeans I buy anywhere, I'm like, yeah, Jeff, uh, that'll fit. Come Fine. on. Well, right. yeah, Everybody knows that you're more perfect than all of us. Yeah, and then uh, every time I went to buy pants, because, I don't know, we're probably like roughly you and I about the same waist and leg length. <laughs> Oh, I like the, well, not quite. I like 38, the, 29. I like but the, those are the ones that are all gone. So if you're an average ratio size. The ratios. you got to bring those numbers closer to get, together. That's for the ratio aspect. So so, so what is yours, O tall one? It's yeah, anywhere 34, 34, or 36, 34, or 32, 34. It depends on, oh, on you the You know, there, there, I have noticed that there is different. But then you know, the waist fits like well, but the legs are too tight. Or yeah. too well, loose. The, the legs always got to be 34, maybe sometimes 36. I'm a 34, 32. I I had uh, gone to the 36, but I went back. You get those numbers closer together, it makes for an easier an easier purchase. Not for me, because no matter what, those they, are the ones that are gone. The length is never going to get shorter than thirty. Uh, <laughs> I'm twenty nine. You got to bring everything else in, then. You know what I'm talking about? Well, even if I brought that the waist num- down, that thirty eight number doesn't make down. my legs any longer. Right, exactly. But then you could buy thirty thirty jeans, and 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 make it work. No, you can't. It still wouldn't work. Well, you got those sprinter legs, so you know the legs have to fit. Yeah. I have seen thirty so bigger waist probably help. I have seen thirty twenty eights before. Okay, good. But well, never the thirty eight twenty eight. Buy them for me then. I'm not a 28. I can't buy you the 29. 30, I can't buy you the 30, 29 or the 30, 28. Just give me two. I'll put one on each leg. Well, I, I used to be a 33. We'll together. Those are hard to find. 